got to do this smart thing. Good, good, good. I hope you got a good day. If not, then I hope the rest of your day gets better. Um, today, today we'll be reviewing all of the standards that we've gone over so far. So you can see questions today from all seven of the different units. The equations, inequalities, ratios, proportions, perimeter, area, volume. You'll see questions from all over, absolute volume. Um, can anybody tell me, raise their hand and tell me anything that we have going over this school year? Can anybody tell me any area that we have going over uh, this school year? Uh, Jumbo? I can't hear you. Box and, box and whisker plots. Box and whisker plots, okay, that's a good one. Can anybody tell me something about a box and whisker plot? What do we have to have, uh, what do we have to have to solve, to make a box and whisker plot? What, what, tell me something you know about a box and whisker plot. Uh, Kennedy? You have to have a number line. You have to have a number line, correct. We're gonna plot the box and whisker plot, uh, plot on the number line, correct. Make sure you speak up, all right? Everybody hear me? Yes. All right. Uh, Cameron, what do, you, what, do, what do you know about boxing what's about? You need to put your numbers in order so you can get your minimum, your maximum, your course hour one, your course hour three. Okay, he said you need to put your numbers in order and you said you need a minimum, a maximum. He said a quartile one and a quartile three. I agree, but I think that he's missing something. I think that he's missing something. Can anybody tell me, raise their hand and tell me what is Mr. Weaver missing? for plotting a box and what's the plot? Heston? The median. The what? The median. I can't hear you. Median. The median. What's the median? It's why when you um, have to do the middle. Have to do the middle? Like you gotta cross off from left to right. Okay, you have to cross off from left to right and then find a number in the middle. But there's something that Hester forgot to say about the median. So if I just gave you a set of values right now, and Hester said if I, if I gave you a set of values, <clears throat> cross out till we get to the middle. Is that is that the case? No. Um uh go ahead. You gotta put the numbers in order for me to Speak up? You gotta put the numbers in order for me to So you have to put your numbers in order first from what plan? Least the greatest. Least the greatest. What is the mathematical term for putting numbers in order from least the greatest? Numerical order. Numerical order, correct. So uh so Mr. Ask so we can't just <coughs> excuse me, cross out. Oh, I see two numbers in the middle. So I add them up and divide by two, but I can't just do that. Right? What do I need to do first? Put them in order from least the greatest. My least number. Three. One. Three. Four. Six. Eight. Twelve. Now, what would you say you want me to do that? You want to cross out from left to right. Cross out from left to right. Oh, I have two numbers in the middle. So what do I do? Pick the biggest number? No. You want to pick the smallest number? No. no. What do I do? Add them So if I add them together, six plus four is going to give me? Ten. And then you said do what? Divide by two. Then divide by two, which is going to give me what? Five. What is that called then? If we added these two numbers up and divided by two, what did we actually find of those two numbers? The, the, um, the average. The average. What's my mathematical term for average? Mean. mean. So we find the mean of the two numbers in the middle. How do I know, how do I know that I'm going to have two numbers in the middle? What tells me that I'm going to have two numbers in the middle? I'm going to give them a set of values. Uh, Ventura? If it's a speak up. If it's an even amount of numbers. If it's an even amount of numbers. So if I have an even amount of numbers, an uh, even amount of values in my data set, then I know that I'm gonna have two numbers in the middle, correct? Yes. What if I have an odd amount of numbers in my data set? So what? I'm gonna have one meeting. Okay. Alright, so let's let's quick little warm up. Let's get to today. So today we're gonna play Kahoot. Um, doing it using our review. I'm going to use Kahoot to, to review, should I say. Uh, raise your hand if you played Kahoot before, if you used Kahoot before. All right. So you're in groups. Everybody should have dry erase board. Every group. Every group should have a 
Expo marker, and every group should have ripped up your paper to help you wipe it off. Does you all have that? Yes. Does everybody have a calculator? Yes. yes. Correct. All right. Good, good, good. So right now, you need to designate somebody who's going to be the person that goes over out of your group and into your answer onto the um, computer. Right now, go ahead and designate somebody to be the person who's going to put your answer on the computer. Y'all got it? That person right now, go ahead and log into the computer. Go over there and log into your computer so you know which one to go. Go ahead and log into your computer. Doing that, can anybody tell me something else that you've learned this year? Uh, you made it? Mean, medium, mode, and range. Mean, medium, mode, and range. All right. We went over the median in the mean. So tell me something you know about the range. The range is basically the smallest number divided by the largest number. Thumbs up if you say he's correct. Thumbs down if you say he's incorrect. Ooh, Mr. Isaiah, I'm seeing some thumbs down. I'm seeing some thumbs down. Pick one, Isaiah. Pick somebody. I think I'm Courtney. Lua? Why is your thumb down? I can't hear you. So you're supposed, supposed to subtract the largest number from the smallest number. Thumbs up if you say she's correct. Thumbs down if you say she's incorrect. I'm going to say this. Say your answer again. Oh. She said you should check. Now she changed it to you should check the smallest number from the largest number. Thumbs up if you say she's correct. Thumbs down if you say she's incorrect. Now I'm going to say that it's correct. Are you all ready? Y'all logged in? Right. I'm about to give you this. All right. Uh. Y'all can come back to your group real fast and come up with a name real fast. Yeah, about 30 seconds. Come up with a name for your group. When you get your name, somebody from the group, write your name on your dry erase board. When your group comes up with a name, one person from your group, write your name on your dry erase board. So I know who you are. Somebody write your name, your group name on your dry erase board. Matt Ball is in. Matt Ball is raise your hand. I like it. <laughs> Question number one. Solve the equation. Oh. All right, come back to your group. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, what he said? Yeah. 